Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Kulecha and I welcome you. Uh, in this video, I am capturing the point that, you know, when someone comes to us for advice and or we are teaching someone and that person is not following our advice, right? So what, what we should do in that situation? So what uh, Buddha said on this matter? So this is from the numbered discourses 4.111. Uh, the link to this discourse is given in the description. So here Buddha is uh, do, uh, conversing with a horse trainer named KC. Right? So KC, the horse trainer, went to the Buddha and uh, uh, Buddha, Buddha said, KC, you are known as a horse trainer. How do you guide a horse in training? So Buddha asked KC, how do you, uh, how do you train a horse? Buddha said, so the KC said, sir, I guide the horse in training sometimes gently, sometimes harshly and sometimes both gently and harshly. And Buddha says, KC, what do you do with the horse in training that doesn't follow the form, these forms of training? So, here KC says, in that case, sir, I kill it. Why is that? Buddha asked. So that I do not disgrace my tradition. Right? So here, KC uh, asked Buddha, Buddha, you are the supreme guide for those who wish to train. Like right? Buddha, you are the supreme, the master teacher, the master trainer. How you guide a person in training? Now, KC is questioning Buddha. So, now what Buddha repl replies? Buddha says, KC, I guide a person in training. Sometimes gently, sometimes harshly and sometimes both gently and harshly. So again Buddha is saying I also follow the same method as you train the horses, I train people. Now, so KC asked, he was inqu inquirous that uh, how, how are you saying this gently, harshly? So Buddha says the gentle way is this, that I tell the person this is the good conduct by way of your body, speech and mind. As a result of this conduct, this is the uh, way you will get. This is the life of a God. This is the life of a human. That way I guide. Harsh way is that if the person is going in the wrong direction, what Buddha used to tell him that this is the bad conduct by way of body, speech and mind. This is the result of the bad conduct. This is the life in hell. This is the life of an animal. This is the life of a ghost. You know, the various realms that a person goes after his death. Right? Because remember, Buddha always said, it's all about your karma. What you karma you do, the actions you do, it's all about the consequences. No, no person, no divine intervention can help you uh, make a shortcut from your karma. Right? So Buddha says, positive way also I tell the person that if you do those good deeds, generosity, giving, compassion, kindness, you'll go on a higher way. Right? Uh, uh, the heavens and the higher realms. And negative things you do, you get, you get go into the negative uh, lower realms. So Buddha says, I tell by way of that, good conduct, bad conduct. Now listen, he said, uh, Kasi said, Sir, what do you do with a person in training who doesn't follow these forms of training? Right? Like the horse. Right? So now, listen what Buddha says. In that case, KC, I killed him. Now this is a very strong thing that is coming out in the discourse. Right? Buddha never advocated killing anyone. And here Buddha is in a, in a discourse. Buddha, uh, Buddha says, in that case, KC, I kill them. Right? Okay. Now, please read fully. So, KC was surprised. KC said, it is not appropriate for the Buddha to kill living creatures. And yet, you say you kill them. So, Buddha says, listen what Buddha says. It, it's true, KC. It's not appropriate for a realized one, the Tathagat, to kill anyone. But if the person doesn't follow any forms of training, the realized one doesn't think they are worthy of advising and instructing. And neither do their sensible spiritual companions, the monks in that, in that particular order. For it is killing in the training of the noble one. That means I kill that person's training. Right? Buddha never said I kill a person. Buddha never could kill. Buddha said I kill that person's training plan. So if the Buddha had like a plan from taking that person from A point to B point, at one point where Buddha realized that this person is not understanding, he would kill the training of that person. Because he is not worthy to be advised or instructed. Then Buddha said further, Well, they are definitely dead when the realized one doesn't think they are worth. So Buddha says, When the realized one, when the Tathagat, Buddha, knows that this person is not worthy to be advised, this person is definitely dead. Not dead in the sense that person is not alive in breathing, but dead in terms of their spiritual progress. Right? So there the Buddha would not kill them, Buddha would kill the training plan of that person. So the KC said, Excellent sir, from this day forth, may the Buddha remember me as a lay follower who has gone for refuge for life. 
right so this is a short kind of a, a, a very short discourse so what is the learnings what is the summary uh, kind of that i have is that see in our life also you know we will come across people you know who would ask for guidance from us and and we would definitely want to share our learnings our guidance maybe as a spiritual teacher or as a any a learned one a, a kind of elder in the family but then people don't listen they ask for guidance right uh, i come across a lot of these people in my as a spiritual teacher they have the questions but they are not ready to hear the answer right their minds are closed so because they have certain preconceived notions now lot of people have certain preconceived notions about buddhism also so they will not even hear the buddha's teachings because lot of cloud is there in their mind about the buddha's teachings so you cannot help that per that person maybe for some other path may help that person but not this path at this time you know time is also very important time with changes in the time lot of things changes the person who is like 5 years back what he was is not the same person as what who, who is who is today right because lot of changes buddha's total knowledge is on impermanence so things change people change that is all there but at this time if the person is not willing to listen to you to your advice for a reason for you know he was not willing to understand then better kill them <laughs> not literally but kill them in the you know just give the advice and just be done with it do not hold on to your view that you know he should follow this is what are the problem lot of times we have you know we say you know that the, he, i have given i have seen all the problem that he is facing in his with our children also we we have this problem that i have seen all these problems that i have i have seen he should follow what i have do not get attached to this particular thing that he should follow your child should follow your advice that is friends that is wrong that creates suffering for us remember the noble truth number 2 buddha said cause of suffering is attachment and attachment is ignorance ignorance of that everything is permanent everything is changing let them change let them realize lot of people whom i have advised they come back and say that you know what you said last time you know maybe 6 months one year back was true i did not hear your advice and so i'm not saying about me and my advice it's just i have come across these experiences so what over time i have also learned as a journey of me myself as a spiritual teacher i start letting go after giving advice the person is not ready to listen just let go thank you so much do not get attached to the decision that that person is going to make right there is no right way wrong way right let the person take the decision so kill kill is leaving leaving them to themselves maybe is not not the right time for them to uh, absorb your teaching and focus so better focus as a spiritual teacher or as a advisor focus on your energy on on helping someone else who is now open to the teaching to to you know focus on them right and don't harbor any hatred or attachment or clinging right to to the advice that you have given right so do not cling to your view attachment to even a view will cause more suffering to you right so these are some of the kind of a lessons uh, uh, kind of some some learnings from this particular discourse do share your learnings in the comment section i would be very happy to hear and uh, read them and uh, i hope this uh, 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 reading of this discourse was helpful to you uh, thank you so much namo buddhaye namo buddhaye